about her and that you are capable of being selfless. I don't, and that's not just for the guy either. Right, that goes make both sure, ways. Make sure yes. that's both ways. Okay, number nine. He is supposed to walk you or take you home. Again, this depends on your situation. If you guys meet there because this is the first time you've ever met before, then obviously he walks you to the walks you to your car to say goodbye, that kind of thing. Um, if he does take you home, what do you oh, do so once he takes you home? Does he get out of the car? Uh, you. Let's assume that this all that's goes. That's a huge judgment call. Whether you get out of the car. Let's or assume that everything goes really well and you want the second date. Then what you do you do? You have to get. You walk her to the door. You walk okay. her as far as she will lead you. Okay. That's. That's. Oh my god, I suck. If she. Ah, uh, if you think it went really well, it's that's probably the biggest judgment call and may determine whether she lets you go on that second date. Mm -hmm. Is how aggressive you are after that date. Now. Okay. So. I have. Thinking, I would say thinking about my house when you said about how far she leads you, there's steps to my porch and then I have an inside like covered porch and then I have a front door. I would say if it went really well, I would let you walk me to the front steps. I would turn around. Yeah, when she turns around, that's when you stop leading. Right. That's when... What? That's when you say goodbye, let's get together again, something to that. I had a really nice time hug her, whatever the case may be, and then you leave from there. Yes, and then follow follow the one-up rule for physical contact. Explain. If, if she has, alright, say she leads you to the door and grabs you by the hand. This is, uh, I would say, I'd say on most first date situations that won't be the case. Say, Alright, say it went super well, and you've kind of known each other for a little bit, and she kind of leans into you for a hug. That's when you just kind of one-up her. Now, don't... My one-up her don't mean, like, kiss her, like, passionately and say, Hey, I want another date. You want to just give her a kiss on the cheek. Just very, very subtle steps. So, if it's like... If she grabs your hand or something, you give her a hug. If just little tiny things if she gives you a kiss like if she gives you a kiss on the cheek maybe you pull her back and give her a kiss on the lips but depending on how comfortable she is any move that she makes will let you know that she's comfortable and that maybe she just needs a push to the extra like the next step mm -hmm. but don't 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 overdo force it yeah, don't overdo it at all. You want as subtle of steps as possible. Like, literally the next subtlest thing that you can come up with is the one that you should do. Based on what she does. Yes. But if she doesn't do anything, that's when you grab her hand. Grab her hand, that's it. You grab her hand and say, hey, I had a really nice time. And then from there, that's, all, that's what you have. Because obviously if she doesn't touch you, if she doesn't get close to you means she's not that comfortable so don't push anything else on her just yep, just let her, her know that just let her know that you are comfortable with any contact and that maybe next time she grabs your hand or she goes in for the hug then you want up her again I like it I like that a lot number 10 you're not supposed to sleep together on the first date um no it's a that's probably the number one for me. Definitely do not sleep together in person. You're just trying to get some ass. If you're both, if you both understand and realize that you're both trying to just get in each other's pants, do what you gotta do. But don't, don't regret it, all right? If you can understand what you're doing and be a grown up adult, and don't don't fuck with somebody. But if you understand what you're doing, then do do what you're gonna do. But do not do not belittle someone else's intelligence or emotions because they feel something for you, just so that you can get something out of it. Just 
be very, very wary of that and be, be sensitive to other people's feelings and how they feel about you. If some girl thinks the only way you're going to date her is if she sleeps with you, don't bang her because it's not going to end well. Because <laughs> you don't want a relationship, you just want to bang. Or even her. I've, I've seen it happen both ways. And I've also seen two sluts who were banging in the first two weeks of dating who are in longer relationships than I've ever been in and are still dating today. So, I mean, it, it can work both ways. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be one way or the other. I would say the biggest thing for that would be then to know who you're dealing with, to know yeah, the more background what? information you can get on a person. Yeah, to know better. to know the other's intentions is basically the biggest thing there. Yes. All right, our last one is number eleven. You're supposed to call her the next day. Uh, this I said in the first video. I don't think is important because I think that me me males are <laughs> generally the oh I can't go there are generally the ones that. Think the most and are kind of made out to think the most and overthink things. But guys will think just as much about what happened. And I said, depending on the day, would be whether you should call or not. But it obviously depends on how the first date goes. You want it to happen again? Yes, you need to communicate somehow. But, I think a phone call shows a lot of interest, so I would be careful with that. If you're not sure, maybe you want to go on a second date. Maybe you're not really feeling it. I don't think you should call. Okay, Send so, a text that says... So yeah, so in, today, in today's time, I would say if you're not sure, text her the next day or the day after and say, Hey... Maybe we can go out next weekend. I'll let you know. Something to that to give her a timeline. I wouldn't say just straight up not call her until the next weekend or yeah. whatever if you're not sure. At but least give her some notice. Shoot her a text. Hey, had a good time, but busy at work this week, busy with school this week. I'll talk to you next weekend. Something like that, so she's not looking for a text from you every day or a call from you every day. If you're extremely interested, call her the next day. Say, hey, let's get, if it's a Friday night that you had went out for the first date, say, hey, let's grab breakfast Sunday morning. Or, I had a really, really nice time. Do you think we could get together sometime this week? Or, show her that you're interested. Give her a phone call if the first date went really well. If it didn't, at least tell her that, no, at least give her if, some notice. No, Here's one thing. There are a lot of crazy bitches out there, and if I can think of several people who, if you just said, "Hey, I don't really feel a connection," that I don't, I'm not really feeling a second date, they would lose it. Like they would. I don't know. I feel like you have to be that way. No, I, 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 I know. I'm just saying that I think a lot of girls would be, not a lot, I guess, just. There are many people that would just be not offended, but kind of distraught about that. Yeah, just kind of pissed off. I don't know. I guess that's just not me. For me, I would want to know either way. I would want to know if you were interested or if you just weren't really feeling it. Even if I was, I think I would still be okay with you saying, "Hey, I didn't really feel it. I oh, wasn't. Best, I had a nice time, but I don't think that we're gonna go any farther than friends." So. Sorry, but I would want to know. I would want to know sooner rather than later. I wouldn't want to be waiting all week for oh. a response. Yeah, alright. I, I agree. Alright, well. That's all I, we have I, for this video. What's the next one? Our next one. This one will be a two part video. Uh, I know I'm saying this at the end, but it looks like our total run time is about 24 minutes. So, at some point, you will have seen a break. Um, the next one will probably be just a one part. There's only five 
There's only five things yeah, there's in the next five video. To this next one. It's another elite daily. Five ways to impress the shit out of her on the first date. Keith can tell you all about that. Impress the shit. Out of her. <laughs> I leave a pretty damn good impression. Uh, I think these are good, but I think I'm gonna add a couple of my own, <laughs> just because. Why? Well, I I think there are legitimate scientific reasons behind a couple of my ideas. Alright, All right, so we'll catch you guys on the next one.